Wheel of Fortune, new game by Ajax, and what is it exactly? It's this little icon that shows up on your screen, and when you click it, it sends you to this Wheel of Fortune thing. Now, what it is are a bunch of different prizes with uh, different rarities that you can win by pressing or clicking this little button. Anyway, uh, non-members get one per day, members get two per day which is another big perk, and I, I assume since mem non-members can win members' items, they're going to want to become members if they get anything good. Now, this is my concern, is that this game is going to ruin the economy. Now, what I want you to understand here is that the like the Sarasword Sar here, for example, is not a real Sarasword. It is a lucky Sarasword, which means it cannot be sold on the Grand Exchange. When you die, it will not appear on your grave and will be instantly lost if you die in the wild or any other dangerous place. So you'll lose it on any death. But now what I'm getting at here is it's untradeable, right? So you can't sell it. It's not going to disrupt the GE. But I don't think that's the case at all. Let's say you have a Sarasword already and you never plan on risking it in an actual dangerous environment. You just use it for like training on weak uh, enemies or whatnot. You get this lucky Sarasword. Are you going to keep your other Sarasword? No, because you don't need it. And you're just going to sell it back and then the Sarasords are going to crash. Same thing with other items. People are saying that there's a Divine Spirit Shield on here already. So, if you get a Divine Spirit Shield, are you going to keep your other Divine Spirit Shield? No. Why would you ever risk your Divine Spirit Shield in the first place? You're not going to die with a Divine Spirit Shield. You're not going to take it anywhere where you're likely to die. Unless you like DC doing boss fights or something. But, if you get a Divine, you're just going to sell your other Divine. Like... Even though the item you win is not tradable, the item that it is can replace another item that is tradable. So either way you look at it, um, an item could get sold because of this. And uh, it disrupts the supply and demand. Because if you're adding more more items to the game, then it, more items uh, people won't need to buy. Like, if everyone gets something something from this stupid wheel thing then they're not going to buy it on the GE because they're not going to need to. The, the, the uh, Yeah, it's not tradable, but the law of slot, supply and demand, like, they're completely disrupting the supply part. If you put an abundance of shit into the game, it's going to cause less people to be buying the real shit, and shit is going to crash. Like, the prices are going to go down because there's so much supply now. Like... You might not get one, it might not take a while, or it might take a while, but think of how many hundreds of thousands of millions of people playing RuneScape, chances are some of them are getting good shit. It just seems to me like this is a terrible update. Uh, it wasn't very well thought out, because it clearly messes up the supply part of the supply and demand principle, and with excess, excess supply comes... Uh, prices crashing and that's bad so let's play the jagex waiting game and give them a nice applause yay for making this game so much better the only way that i could see this getting any better is if the lucky items that you win are degradable because if they're degradable then there's still a chance that the person won't get it back again and uh have to buy one but if but at the same time, it's like it's still going to cause prices to crash, even if they do degrade. It just won't be as bad that way. So I really hope that they make these items degrade. Um, I don't know anyone who has a lucky item so far. I looked on the forums, and so far nobody has been able to confirm whether or not these items degrade. So I, I hope to hell that these items degrade.